Looking back, I think it all went wrong when the uh, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix ended. <sighs> that was a race. That was a race where, you know, like basic fans like you, Alistair, you just don't get it. Like the F1 mind. Valtteri Bottas back in the championship. End of the season. That's it. Abu Dhabi's the last race. Are you? Do you even do you even watch F1? Like, Crofty literally just said, midway point of the season, Valtteri's back in it. It's four months to the next race. It's four months to the next race. Four months to the next race. Four months to the next race. What? I need to drink. I need to drink shoes. You just say shoe. <laughs> say not again. Now, Maddie's basically turned into a bull. So anytime he sees a red light, he turns into this race mode guy where he acts like an absolute maniac. For nine months of the year, I'd be able to make myself a nice, refreshing drink. But now, shoes. Matt, do you want a drink? Yeah, mate. Where are your mugs? Left cupboard next to the oven. All right. I'll get the Adidas one, please, mate. Okay. Ah, oh, why? So it's been three days now. I haven't seen the guy. Um, he's not requested any holiday. He's not sick as far as I can tell. Um, maybe mentally. So yeah, I was getting a bit worried. I asked Ali to go and have a look, see where he is. Why is his door open? Matt? Matt? <laughs> what now? I love him one so much. Normal things. Normal bloody things, like putting a shopping trolley away. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. It, it just frustrates me seeing his eyes light up, thinking that a shopping trolley is an F1 car. He's ruined trolleys for me. Matt needs to understand that internet's best reactions only works when there's been an F1 Grand Prix. I mean, honestly, I've never seen someone so butthurt that they've had to take three months out of filming their own YouTube series. It's, it is YouTube, right? How many subscribers they got? 150,000? 150 million? 1,000? <laughs> I mean, 150,000 people, that's not a lot of people, so I don't know why he's so butthurt about it. We ran a couple of competitions recently and the winner of this fantastic F1 gear ratio clock is Jayant Paul. I've probably pronounced your name wrong, but get in contact with us or we'll get in contact with you either way. You've won!